Hi YouTube! Um, so I am a work from home Sews, um, and currently I am actually hand sewing. Um, I'm sure as you can see. Um, so in today's video, I am just kind of gonna be walking y'all through um, what this particular top is gonna look like um and kind of talk about other random or not random but kind of um another outfit that i'm making that is related to this particular outfit um so since this is my first video y'all probably have no idea um i bought my sister myself and i tickets to go see uh, Taylor Swift in July of this year. Um, so I'm going to be making myself and my sister um, outfits because why do something store bought when I know how to sew and do it? So I thought it would be kind of fun to create an outfit. Uh, for me, my sister, and my sister, and then, um, kind of document it on here as well. So that's what a lot of the videos will probably end up being, is do, it's different parts of, um, this whole process. And then I'm sure there'll be other things too, because I do own a business, so if you want to go check that out, please, by all means, um, I will have them linked in my channel description, and I'll link the, um, my business in the description of this video as well um but yeah i'm gonna sew the last couple um sequins on to this particular part what i'm doing for this line essentially and then i'll lay it out and show you um, kind of what it looks like right now and the vision for when it's done so Alright, so um, I just finished the um, last, well, the thing that I was sewing in the uh, intro to this video, and so I'm going to flip my camera over and kind of show you what it looks like right now, and then where it's going to kind of go in the future. So this is the one that I just finished, that little line right there. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to start another one here, and it's going to kind of go across the bust part here. And then I'm thinking for this side, I'm going to do like three that kind of go like, so that's the side. So I'm kind of thinking like three that kind of go like across here or something. I don't know. I'm kind of debating on that one still. Um, but I know I definitely want to do another one that goes across here. Um, just because I feel like this is super plain and needs something. And then yeah, I'm thinking, like I said, this is kind of going to have like maybe three kind of things coming off. But that's kind of what it looks like now. Um, I will show you an update after I've finished this little line here. And maybe I'll come up with another idea. Okay, so I just finished this um, line here of sequins. So I think on this side I'm done. I was gonna, I was debating doing something that like goes across here and like meets in the middle over here. But I'm, I kind of like this side with just like the three so that's where it's going to be right now and then i'm going to work on this side and i'm hoping to have the other maybe three i definitely am going to do one that's here and then i feel like because odd numbers will look better i just won't like do the three but yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now and then we'll go from there because yeah like i said i really like the three kind of things that go off here um I'm kind of taking inspiration from Taylor's uh, bodysuit thing um, from the Eras tour. Um, I'll add in a picture of that, so it'll be from Google, but I'll add in a picture um, after this particular part of the video. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to add those three and then we'll come back and see. And I uh, will try it on and kind of go from there. So it's been a minute since I have um, sewn the bodice. Um, I swatched the British show, so I've got a bit of an accent, so you're just going to have to 
do with that for a minute. Um, I'm going to flip my camera over in a second and show you the finished bodice and kind of go over the materials and stuff I used as well. And then I'm going to try it on and you'll see that. You won't see me putting it on, but you'll see it on me because it's YouTube and I'm not doing that. So, um, yeah, hold on. All right, so this is the finished thing. I was I was kind of debating doing something that kind of goes along here, but I don't really like that. Um, I like that it all kind of comes from one spot, like it does when it goes up her leg, you know. Um, it kind of goes off in different directions. I quite like it. Um, yeah, so I use, so this is a bodice I made before. It's faux leather. Um, I think the leather's from Mood or Fabric.com. They're two different places, but that's probably where that's from. Um, the inside is actually a lycra, and it is um, an old... Uh, bed sheet or bedding thing yeah I don't know and um, that's what the binding the lining and the straps are and um, that's uh, um and then I did these were leftover sequins from a project I had before um I actually did not use them nearly as much as I thought I would for this project um but yeah they're from mood I 100% recommend buying from mood I think their stuff is incredibly high quality um, but yeah, and then I also use the thread, but that's, that's this, um, from Mood as well. But yeah, I'm gonna try it on and, um, go from there. Alright, All right. so I've got the bodice on. Um, as you can tell, this is what it looks like on. I quite like it. I think it's got a very cool effect. I think it looks really cool. There's nothing on the back because, um, it's the back and I shouldn't really feel like doing anything on the back, to be quite frank, honest. Um, those are the straps. I'm gonna put my whole lot away. Anywho, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so in order to complete my look, I am have to decide between two different styles of bottoms. So I'm not gonna be wearing my new pants. Um, so I'm either debating doing faux leather pants or faux leather shorts. Um because I'm going for reputation um inspired so I don't really I'm kind of debating for that one um I do have a sketch of it I'll kind of show you and you can maybe uh tell me in the comments which one you like better shorts pants um obviously I kind of get decided but I'd love to know yours opinion um yeah so it's kind of where we're at right now um yeah i'm gonna i'm i'm well i'm not gonna take this off but i'm gonna get my ipad and i'll show you the shorts versus the pants and you can tell me which one you like better all right so we have so i'll do it in layers so this is with the pants this is procreate by the way so this is with the pants um it wouldn't be this kind of a texture Ooh, come on focus now um wouldn't necessarily be that kind of a texture I don't really know if I do pants or if I do shorts with it. Come on now. Um, they both have pockets. I like the idea of doing something that has pockets because um, you're going to have like a, um, what do you call that, a bag. But I like the idea of being able to put my hands in my pockets, being able to put my phone in my pockets, you know, easy, easy and accessible for things. Um, so I'm debating. I kind of like the look of shorts, but then, I don't know, because it's a short bodice, would shorts be like, does it look weird? Or should I do pants instead? I mean, either way, I'll wear both of them afterwards. Um, just like I kind of wear the shirt afterwards, it's kind of why I'm making it the way I am. Um, instead of doing the full on bodysuit, plus I just, I, I wouldn't wear a bodysuit. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. Should I do shorts or should I do pants? Um, that's going to be it for this video because this video was really just to kind of do the top. Which I think honestly turned out really well. I, thought, I really like it. Um, but yeah, so um, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see the rest of my Aries tool um, stuff come together and to 
um, just kind of watch what else I do on this channel. Um, if you like my vibe, like I said, please subscribe and um, I hope to see you all in future videos.